Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have the, this is not a dream collection from ColourPop. It was part of their, I think, first installment for the holiday releases. And there is a lot to the collection. There's Super Shock Shadows, there's an eyeshadow palette, highlighter palette, lippies, liquid lips, lip glosses, the Glitterly Obsessed Body Glitter, and the Jelly Much Shadows. And if that wasn't enough, they also have a really pretty makeup bag. It is so pretty. It's not holographic. I would say it's more like a prismatic type of color. But everything has this really shiny, prismatic shift to it on the packaging. This makeup bag says this is not a dream. And I mean, it's a simple little makeup bag. Not everything from the collection is going to fit in it. but. I have something else to put my makeup in when I travel. All right, so since we're focusing just on this collection, I did do the rest of my face with the exception of my highlighter because, like I said, there is a highlighter palette. So for the highlighter palette, this is Dream Sequence. This is the little outer sleeve. It has the clouds on it. But inside this palette, there is four really pretty highlighters. So this first one is Counting Sheep. It's kind of a white, silvery, pearlescent color. This next one is Pinch Me. This one actually has kind of a pinky shift. Then there is Guilty Pleasure. This has some gold undertones, so if you're a little more bronzy, maybe when I have a tan I can use this one. And then this one is Mr. Wind. This is more of like a rose gold type of color. I really like this. I think it'd be beautiful just all over the eye. Even Guilty Pleasure. And then there are six Super Shock Shadows. This packaging, I love this like iridescence color to it. But these are the six Super Shock Shadows. So this first color is Falling Up. This one is kind of like a champagne-y color. It has pink iridescent to blue glitters in it. Then you have Roy G. Biv. I'd say it's more of a pink with gold glitter. Then you have Milky Way. And this color is stunning. This is a magenta eyeshadow with reflex of, it looks like bluish purple to it. Then you have IRL or in real life. This is kind of a goldy greenish color with green glitter. And the glitter is more of like a mint green than like a true green. Then you have REM. This is kind of a periwinkle type of purple. And it looks like it's got iridescent gold type of glitter in it. It is just so pretty. And then the next one is Z. Z, Z, Z. And that is kind of like a coppery with a shift of green to it. Those colors are stunning. And I love the Super Shock Shadows. They're so buttery. They're so smooth. I just, I love the different colors in this. And even looking at Roy G. Biv, like, on the skin, it's kind of got like a pinky gold shift. They all have a little bit of glitter in each of them, and it's just, they're stunning. My favorite thing to do with them is, you know, do my eyeshadow and then put them in the middle or the inner eye area, even all over the eye, and then blend them out so that they're a little more translucent on the inside, but they are stunning. I love their Super Shock Shadows for how creamy and buttery they are. Next up we have the Jelly Much Shadow, and I've never used any of these. I'm excited that they're in the collection because I've seen them, but I haven't actually ordered them. This is Crystal Castle, and it is just, it's kind of got an iridescent shift to it, and it shifts to kind of a goldish, rosy pink. This one is Wavelength. That one is just like an icy white. 
This one definitely has an iridescent gold shift. Okay, so this next one is Sweet Dreams. And that one is kind of that bubble gummy pink with an iridescent to it. This next one is No Rest for the Vivid. It's kind of a magenta with iridescent shift. Then you have Into Focus. That is beautiful. And then you have Wide Awake. That is kind of like a yellow with shift of gold. <laughs> and they're so messy. <laughs> they're so messy. This is why I don't swatch that often. Oh man. Oh, the glitters. <gasps> the glitters are gonna be so messy. I'm gonna need another makeup wipe for them. All right, and then we have Hallucinogenius. That's another periwinkle type of iridescent color. And then we have Morning Light. And this one's kind of like a orangish color. Just, oh, look at all those colors. They are stunning. Just how the light catches them and the iridescence to them. There is an eyeshadow palette, it's called Chasing Rainbows. This is stunning. It has 15 shades in here. I'm not gonna swatch the eyeshadow palette just because we've seen a lot of eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop. So this one, I'm not going to swatch everything, but there are a couple colors that I really like. So like this one is Lucid, and it's got a weird, interesting, like bronzy shift to it and then there's not playing this one is kind of like a pinky color there is on one which is like a bluish turquoise color and then blurred lines just those four are beautiful there's a couple matte colors in here there's some stuff to keep it neutral just, those are the shiny, metallic, iridescent type of shades. Now for the biggest mess. <sighs> My arm is gonna be super, super glitter bombed. All right, here goes nothing. I have nine glitters from the Glitterly Obsessed Body Glitter. And I'm about to swatch every single one of them, which means when I go to take it off my arm, my entire arm is just gonna glitter everywhere it's gonna flake off it's just gonna mm, glitter is not like the easiest to clean up so yeah, here goes nothing okay this first one is eternal sunshine and it is a white iridescent it has little flakes of blue glitter really fine blue glitter this one is keep it platonic and yes, it's another white glitter, but this one actually has chunks of gold glitter in it. There's a difference to them. So this one has more of a blue, kind of a periwinkle shift with the glitter. This one's more on the gold side, kind of a green iridescence to it. This one is Wish Me Luck, which, do that now because I'm gonna be a glittery mess. But Wish Me Luck, has the fine blue glitter in it as well as the gold and the base of it goes on a little more clear than the two above it. This is Puffin. Oh, it's grainy. It is a yellow base with gold glitter. This is Outside the Lines. It is gold and iridescent. It is super chunky. This is Dream About Me. It is a coppery, coppery with translucence to gold and green. This is Star Party. It is silver with large, chunky, octagonal glitter, but it has kind of a bluish periwinkle undertone. This next one is Starfire. 
It is kind of a light pink with glitters of purple and iridescent and gold. And then this is Avenue of the Stars. It is kind of a magenta, thick, silver, chunky glitter. Okay, I've gone in and primed my eyes with my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. And I'm going to dive into this eyeshadow palette. All right, so the first color I'm gonna go into is Wiggles. I'm gonna use this to set my eyeshadow primer. And it's just a matte nude color. We're gonna go in with the color Woke. It's just a light pink matte shade. I'm gonna put this into the crease and just fluff it in there. I don't think I've actually done an eye look using pink on my channel yet. Next, I'm gonna go in with the color Manifest. For this, I'm just gonna pack it on the outside of the eye and just kind of give us a shape. For this, I'm just using a flat eyeshadow brush to pack in the color. And then I'll use my fluffy brush here in a minute to kind of fluff it out. Now I'm gonna go in with the color Roy G. Biv. It's this pinky, super shock shadow. Now I'm gonna go back in with the color Manifest It and blend out those edges of the Super Shock Shadow. I only put a little bit of that color on my brush. We're just gonna blend the colors together. Next, I'm gonna use this color, Roy G. Biv. I'm gonna place this on the inside corner and blend it. I'm just gonna take a clean, fluffy crease brush and I'm just gonna sweep into the crease and blend everything together. I'm 
Now for under the eye. I like the pink, but I think that I want to switch over to this color Lucid. That way we can just kind of use all the colors. So I'm gonna take Lucid on a small brush and smudge that from the outside corner. And I think on the inside corner, I'm gonna take blurred lines. I'm gonna do my eyeliner and mascara off camera and I'll be right back so we can do our highlight. Well guys, I'm back. So I did my eyeliner and my mascara and for the lower waterline, I actually went in with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the color Love Drug. This was part of the Urban Decay Naked Cherry collection that they released, which I did a video on. I'll link that above. Um, I actually didn't have this eyeliner for that video, but the Naked Cherry palette was amazing. All right, so now we've got to do our highlighter and of course glitter, which how can you forget because that was such a mess to swatch. So there's this stunning highlighter palette. This is the color Pinch Me and this is Counting Sheep. And I think I'm going to mix these two together. I mean, me personally, I don't like using a brush in the ColourPop highlighters just because they're so creamy. So I actually like using my finger and I will pat it on. And you just get that like pink wet look on your cheek. and I love how buildable they are. All right, now I'm gonna take Counting Sheep, and this just has that icy green shift. And just look how juicy and wet my highlight is. So good. If you don't buy anything else, like the highlighter palette is where it's at. Just oh, stunning. This was the Dream Sequence highlighter palette. All right, now for glitter. Now where to put it? Where, what glitter do I wanna use and where do I wanna put it? All right, so I'm gonna use two different glitters just because I can. So this one is Avenue of the Stars and this one is Wish Me Luck. I think I'm just gonna pat it right here So you can just do a little bit. I'm zooming you guys in on this. It's just right there over the highlighter. Blend it all together. We'll just keep building it up. All right, so that was Avenue of the Stars on this side. Okay, you guys, this is so far my most involved look on my channel. All right, so we still have the lip swatches. We have six lippies in here. And then we have all of this. 
There are two satins, two metallics, three mattes, and seven glossy. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? All right, so I'm gonna go in the order of what I think is the lightest to the darkest. So this first color is at Twilight Cream. Then we have Dream Date Cream. Then we have Are You Surreal? Then we have Sky Walking. Then we have Happy Thoughts. And then the last one is Infinite Best. All right, now I'm going to swatch this entire box. So this first one is Starburst. This one is just clear with iridescent glitter. This next one is Round Midnight. And these two just have a brush type of applicator. This is the one that I'm actually wearing on my lip right now. It's just kind of like a clear pinky gloss. Next, this one is an ultra satin lip. This one is Pitter Ponder. This is an ultra matte lip. This one is Skyfall. This next one is also a ultra matte lip. This one is La La Land. This one's a really pretty kind of red with a, it looks like an orange. This one is also an ultra matte lip. This one is Kronos. This one definitely looks orange. This one is an ultra glossy. And this one is Paper Moon. It's just a really pretty pinky gloss. This is an ultra glossy lip in Dust to Dust. It's like an orange creamsicle gloss with little bits of glitter. This is an ultra glossy lip in Hypnotease. This one's kind of a gold gloss with gold glitter. Another ultra glossy lip, this one is Stratus Update. Ultra glossy lip in the color Dreamaholic. That has a very uh, interesting color to it. I think that would be a very interesting lip topper. This is an ultra metallic lip in the color Morning Glory. And the last ultra metallic lip, this one is Nimbus. All right, well, that's all the lip swatches for the glosses, satin mattes, and the metallic lips. There's some really stunning colors in this set. I will tell you though, I am not the best at swatching. I haven't mastered it. Maybe I'll figure it out one day. Well you guys, that's it for this video. I had so much fun doing this tutorial for this eye look as well as swatching for the ColourPop This Is Not A Dream collection. It was such a huge collection and I had every intention of doing swatches on my lips for the lipstick, but my lips are pretty chapped because it's super freaking cold here in Chicago. So I don't think it would have done them justice. And I'm sorry that the swatches didn't turn out that great on my arm, but maybe I'll get better at it. Um, if there's anything that you're thinking about getting from this collection or that you really liked, leave that in the comments down below. I'm really interested to see what other people buy from this collection. And if you do any other looks, post them on Instagram and tag me. If you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, my uh, handle should be up in the top corner. Make sure to find me on there. I do do some of my unboxings, which I did the unboxing for this collection on my Instagram stories. And thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications because I post new videos Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And until next time, guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.